I even practice my lines. Is it filming? Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple of cool features for your Infinity Q50. You probably know some. Our friend Anish on YouTube, he went over a bunch of cool features in the Q50, so you guys probably know. But here's one that's important because I have had a lot of questions on Instagram. People say, I came out of my, I came out of work one day and all my windows were down, my sunroof was open. What's the problem? Something wrong with my car? No. No, nothing is wrong with your car. The problem is you probably carried your key fob in your pocket like most people. You leaned up against something, bumped a desk or whatever, and you pressed the unlock button for too long. Watch this. If you hold the unlock button on your key fob, all of a sudden your windows will go down. It only goes down while you're holding the button, but you probably got a little bit too crazy. You were leaning up against that desk a little too hard or something, and all your windows were down. If you had a sunroof, your sunroof opens as well. So that's kind of crazy. You can't roll it back up though. That's a problem. You can't roll it back up. So you can't stand across the parking lot and roll your windows up. If it's raining, you're kind of screwed. You got to run out and do it. Um, but what if your battery in your key fob was all of a sudden dead? You rolled your windows down and then all of a sudden your key fob battery died. You can't unlock the door. How are you supposed to get in? The door is locked. How are you supposed to get well, in if your you're, car now? If you're <laughs> How are you supposed to get in? Wow, here, this is what you do. This little tab, it releases your key. <gasps> Luckily on the Q50s, we still have this key slot in your door handle, and you can turn it to the left, and your windows will roll back up. Your sunroof, if you have one, will stay open. That's unfortunate. But now, you can roll your windows up without having to figure out how you're gonna get in your car with your windows down. Clearly you won't be able to get in your car with the windows locked. None of that makes any sense because to roll your windows down, you have to literally be hitting the unlock button. So I'm not sure. Oh no, they're locked. They're locked, they stayed locked. Okay, that's cool feature number one. And number two, because there's a hidden key. The next cool feature that I actually wanted to tell you about, a friend of mine on Instagram and YouTube, a subscriber, longtime supporter, I can't remember the name of his channel, but I'll put it up in text. But he has a very, very beautiful black G37 IPL. It's mint. I love that car. He put a video up for a hidden feature, uh, like a hidden diagnostics feature on his G37. And we thought, hey, I wonder if that works for the Q50. Good news for you guys. It does work for the Q50. So this is a feature you can kind of do like a systems check. You know, like if you're a NASA engineer and you're checking out the systems of your space shuttle. Okay. We're going to be looking at this button here. Okay, that's a close up. Oh my God. How do you sit in there? Sorry. What you have to do is turn your accessories on. So it's two hits of the start button with your foot off the brake. Turn your accessories on. We go back over to this button in the door jam and you hit it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you push your start button again to shut it off, and then you turn your accessories back on. You heard the horn, you heard the wipers. That means it's working. So what it's doing is checking all speeds of your wipers. It just checked your beep button apparently. Now come over here. It's checking your headlights and your fog lights. Can you tell that they're working? Yeah. And if you listen, you'll start hearing some clicks. Oh, there's checking high beams, low beams. Dang, that's cool. That is kind of a cool feature. It's like a systems check. You know, if you're gonna go on a long road trip or you wanna make, hearing the clicks? I'm hearing, hearing the some, clicks. We're hearing some connectors, some contactors making making their connections. You'll probably hear the fans turn on here shortly. Listen. Fans? Y'all hear that? Cool, oh, wipers. Low speed, they're gonna move up to high. What I wanna really know is if our tail lights are being checked as well. I think it's gonna go through the cycle. It goes through the cycle like two or three times. Oh, they are, they are. Where? It's very dark, but I saw them click. Well, I'm not seeing the tail lights working. You stay, you stay. I'm gonna tell you when the lights are being checked. Fans going again, wipers are going again. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah lights are on. Good, good, good. Good, they check. <laughs> so your brake lights, your headlights, your tail lights, they all get checked. That's awesome. Uh, like I said, it goes through the, the steps like two or three times, and you'll hear the clicking, you hear the fans turn on, your wipers will go a couple of times. It's click doing the clicks again. But this is kind of like a little hidden uh, systems check feature for your Q50 and G37, obviously, but I think this is the first Q50 to test this out. So thank you again to some TEIP. I'll put, the, I'll put his name as his uh, YouTube channel on the in the description and a link to that video if you guys have G37 and you're interested in that. But it works on the Q52. Uh, after a couple cycles, it'll just stop doing it by itself. But obviously, your accessories are on in the car, so don't just walk away. Shut them off. And you're good to go. So, I, the one thing I wish this feature had was maybe like a warning that would come up on your dash. Because, what if all the systems didn't work you know what if your fan didn't turn on what if those clicky clicks were not clicky clicking <laughs> what if your tail lights didn't work or a blinker was out would would something would it tell you i mean we're just kind of left here like oh, okay well i went through the check then what <laughs> so i hope this video was helpful i don't know if you guys have been in that confusing situation where you walked out of your office building or you know, wherever you're working or at school and you come out and all your windows are down and you're like, what the F, somebody's been... That's happened to me. That's happened to you, see, Yeah, you know. yeah, my, my thing does that. A lot of cars would do that. Um, I, thought, I thought most people knew about that by now, but if you're confused, you were just, you were just, you know, like bumping your pocket a little Don't lean up against the car. Keep it cool. Hey, that's not a video I did. <laughs> um, but the systems check one, that's pretty cool. There's a couple other... Um, hidden features that you know you can check out Anisha's video I hope I'm saying his name right I'll put a link in the description to that video as well um, but let's back up and take a look at this thing it's a little bit dirty but when you get far away it looks clean so don't look at me look at that. Sheesh. Sheesh, right. thank you guys very much for watching I hope this video was helpful uh, more good stuff coming for the Q50 more good stuff coming for the Jeep and the MDX because this old girl's got a job and she's gonna be getting some wheels for that thing. Oh, hey, hey, check out this. Check out this merch. If you guys are familiar with How I Met Your Mother, this is kind of um, inspired by the man, the myth, the legend, Barney Stinson. Barney Stinson. Legendary. And of course, Weed Culture Studio started in 2018, so legendary since 2018. SE Studios on the chest, multiple colors available, kind of that 80s, early 90s vibe. Saved by the Bell, all you 90s kids will know. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. You don't. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching us, Speed Culture Studios. Anyways, guys, smash that like button. <laughs> See you in the next one.